Biden is very happy that his bill supporting the economic collapse of the United States has finally been passed through the House. And it was a bit touch and go there because he was having problems on both sides of his party, with the moderates insisting that they just go to a paltry $1.75 trillion spending bill, and the uh, uh, squad on the left in the House uh, insisting that they go with the full fat $3.5 trillion version of the spending package. Biden was worried that he wouldn't be able to pass this at all after it's been delayed for months. I mean, he was intending on getting this whole thing passed before the November elections, which, might I say, didn't go particularly well for him. But, after all of that, it finally got passed, and because Biden did find some common ground, not within his own party, but instead with the rhinos, because these political fair-weather veins finally tried to blow in the direction of the guy who has a 38% approval at this point. They determined that the intelligent thing to do is to join hands with a guy whose political ass uh, prospects are qu quickly dwindling into non-existence from a point in which they weren't particularly impressive to begin with. And they are very, very happy, as in all, that this infrastructure bill was passed. But you shouldn't be. If you're in any of the states in which these uh, rhinos were elected in, make sure they don't get elected in this next 2022 election season, you need to make sure that they are either A, primaried, or B, losing the general no matter how red the state they are in is. Make sure that they do not get it in because it's better that you have a singular term of a Democrat than 50 terms of a rhino. And you can do it. All you need to do is start organizing now. Make sure that the primary campaigns are up and running and ready to go. Make sure all of that is done because these people cannot be allowed to stay in because functionally they are Democrats and they are incredibly glad that this infrastructure bill went through. And they're not the only ones because another group of people who has been incredibly happy that this particular infrastructure bill went through is the infrastructure illusionist in chief, that being the CCP in China. They are absolutely jovial at the fact that this infrastructure bill was passed, and that might be a bit of a controversial statement, because the albino rhinos, who are of course a bunch of xenophiles and a Chinese propagandists, will have a heyday saying, no, China doesn't like this bill, or they are, have been ribbing them and saying that this is just a pale imitation of the great Chinese project, a sentiment I'm sure that many of these albino rhinos completely agree with. But, when you look past all the ribbing and all the displeasantries which the China, uh, China feels almost obligated to push at the Beijing Biden administration in order to conceal any uh, extant uh, connections between the two, you will find that they are incredibly happy. And once you get down to brass tacks and what's actually helping them, they are gaining a lot from this infrastructure bill because in the exact same articles in which you will see China ribbing the Biden administration on this bill, they will also say they are very grateful because of all of the Chinese exports the Americans are going to need in order to fulfill this bill in the first place. And that is key here because China has been running into many domestic problems as of late. Their economy, for lack of a better word, is collapsing, something I predicted quite a long time ago, link in the description to my uh, China the Paper Tiger Economy video. It's the first one in the description, I suggest you go check it out. I was predicting, before the retail collapse uh, and uh, real estate collapse had already been occurring, that their economy was on dire straits, and I was completely right on that fact. On top of the fact that Xi Jinping's uh, election, election appointment season, basically, is coming up as well, China has a lot of internal political strife, and having that evergreen American dollar be pumped into their economy is quite possibly their only hope for survival. And that is not to be understated, because the only reason the CCP continues to exist at this point is because of the massive amount of American inf uh, investment into the Chinese economy that has been going on 
for decades at this point. And their greatest hope, I suppose, is that we get run dry before they end up inevitably collapsing. And that's the major malady with this spending bill and a lot of the other spending bills. What's happened? Because every time we spend and every time we print massive amounts of money in order to make uh, take on more debt in the long run, we end up only digging our own grave. Whether we fall into that grave is yet to be seen, but it's certainly worrying and needs to be stopped. And the only way that's going to happen is if you go from the bottom up. So to start again, make rhinos unelectable. And that's where I'm going to leave you guys off. If you enjoyed that video, do subscribe down below and check me out on other platforms. I'm on BitChute, I'm on Brideon, I'm on Odyssey, I'm on Rumble, and I'm also on Minds, Gab, and Getter if you want to check out some text posts. I'm Kel Kidman, this has been Breaking on the Daily, and I'm out.